What's up everyone? February 13th, Tuesday. It's almost 8 a.m. Just about to go outside. Head out the door for my 15 kilometer long run this morning. That's right, we've upped it to 15 this week. It's what, day 16? Um, I envy those people that can like wake up immediately, immediately when their alarm goes off. Man, I, <laughs> my body's like a frozen car it needs to warm up and it takes me forever to get out of bed something they're still working on but yeah i just want to get this run done it's supposed to be nice and beautiful today which is nice uh, i got a busy day like labs classes etc all right good morning everyone look at the sun what a beautiful day i got 15 kilometers on the books we are done 4.7 so almost one third of the way there. Feeling pretty, feeling pretty good. The legs were really sore this morning, but that seems to have gone away. And I'm just happy to be out here running. All right, we're about 12.5 kilometers in. Man, I'm, I feel an extra 10 pounds heavier. Like in the summer, I was 180, I'm 190 now. I can definitely feel it when I try to go fast. <laughs> All right, let's finish this. We are back from the run. I just took a shower, made some breakfast, absolutely starving. Monster 15 kilometers. I sped up a little bit, like at kilometer 10 to kilometer 13, then I just like uh, made my way back pretty slow. I think the pace was like six minutes, which is really good. Um, slowly building off, I mean like the runs aren't as hard, I don't feel as terrible, let's just say that like as I start them. Legs were just like a little bit sore from the gym yesterday. But yeah, I got a busy day ahead, I got a lab, I got to study midterm tomorrow. So we just gotta keep going, keep pressing on. All right, so I'm back from class. I almost fell asleep twice, but I persevered and I stayed awake the entire time. My girlfriend and I have this saying, like when our bodies are really sore after doing hard workouts, we always say, my body's so different. <laughs> it's kind of funny saying that. But let me tell you guys today, my body is so different. Like that 15 kilometer run, I am feeling, I was feeling it in lecture, like, would be like stretching my legs and they'd be so sore and I'm really tired and I know that if I sit down on my bed right here I'm not gonna get up and go to the gym so I got the workout stuff on I got it on right away and uh, got the bag packed just need to go eat some more food so that I'm not dying but yes go to the gym <laughs> going to the gym Workout started off with some military press. Now, I actually don't mind these move this movement. It's pretty fun. The one issue was I was like trying to rack it from the two sides there. What are they called again? The safety the safety bars on the side. And it was like putting so much stress on my joints. So um, I had to figure out a, a way to not make it hurt. <laughs> Let's just say here I still wasn't doing it pretty much. I just moved the... The like clips to like a lower position and then I would lift it up while standing and then sit back down but this is a top set with 95 pounds on the bar or with the bar for three reps I actually did it but my shoulders were absolutely toast absolutely fried like I usually can do three sets with about 12 reps with the uh, shoulder press here with dumbbells no, I could only do eight with the 45s. They were just completely exhausted, which is nice because like I haven't trained with heavy sets in a long time. So it's really fun. Yeah, so pretty much after this, I did some shoulder raise as you can see right here. And then I went over to the other gym. I did dips and I did some tricep extensions, but I didn't film that because there were too many people. But even with the long run, still a great gym session today. Back from the gym, just had dinner, it's like 8 p.m. I helped my girlfriend practice her presentation for tomorrow. In case you're wondering, I also don't have any product in my hair. So that's why my hair looks like this. Uh, when I don't have product, I usually just 
throw on a hat, but my head's usually too small for a hat, so it looks kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, I have a midterm tomorrow, so I'm going to study for that right now. And then, yeah, go to bed early, wake up early, and keep studying. My goodness, I look weird. All right, I feel like I've barely like vlogged at all these past couple days, so I want to show you guys my eating routine. And please don't mind my flat hair. It really bothers me because I feel like I look kind of stupid. <laughs> but just just forget it, all right? I'm not gonna go put product in my hair now. Anyways, it's like 10:30 right now, and I'm I need to eat more food because I haven't eaten enough. But I'm lazy, so what do I do? I make a big bowl of cereal. And then I also make like another protein shake. Pretty much, I wanna, I'm going away next week, so I wanna finish all this milk and this, and then a few other items. Kinda like, you know, dying with no money left. You wanna leave reading break, or leave before reading break without any perishables in your fridge. And I also have nothing about reading today, so. We're gonna put the timer on for 30 minutes and start reading. Eat, drink, read more upstairs, stretch. What am I doing? What am I, why am I saying this? I'll show you guys. That was a bit more milk than I am used to in a single go. So, I don't feel the best. One way to combat though is to do a little bit of yoga, which is what I do every night based on my my posture schedule. So yeah, for now 14 straight days, I have done some like two to three minutes before I go to bed, just some stuff for my upper back because it's always super tight and it makes my posture really bad. And I can say now that I have seen some differences. So I'm just gonna keep doing them. I think like in a couple months, it should look even better, which I'm all for. Stretching is now done. I didn't set up the camera to film any of it because it's getting a little bit late. But I'll show you the room now. So we got the curtain up, got the fan. You can even see that. <laughs> I have a fan right there. So yeah, now it's time to hit the hay. One thing though, usually in the night I have to wake up and go pee. And last night, because the room is like pitch black with the curtain up, when I woke up, I got out on the wrong side of the bed. And so I was like, I was like right after a deep sleep. So I was like really confused. I had no idea. I started walking towards the direction of the curtain. Then I had to stop and like find my way around the bed. And then I also couldn't find my slippers. I was like feeling all over the curtain. It was so weird last night. All right, but now I'm going to keep reading and then go to bed. See you guys.